In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your own private container image registry using AWS ECR and publish your images to it. Alright, so before I get started, make sure you have the AWS CLI installed and are logged in. So I'm starting up in AWS in the Amazon Elastic Container Registry service that I found through search. And I'm going to go ahead and click create, uh, get started under create a repository. Now, this is going to bring up the dialogue or the, um, the wizard that's going to help walk us through creating the repository. We can leave the visibility settings to private since we don't want our images public for the world to be used. Okay, so you will be creating a single repository for every image that you want to publish up into AWS. So if you have three different Docker images you want to publish, you'll need to create three separate containers, one for each, because the repository name here is actually going to line up directly with the URL forward slash the image name that we're going to use when we build and tag our images. So I'm going to name my repository name, hello world ECR, since we're just going to publish a simple hello world Docker image up into ECR. Okay. The rest of the settings on this page can be left as their defaults. I'm going to scroll down and click create repository. Okay, now that our repository is created, we can see we have it listed under private repositories and here is hello world ECR. If I select this and click view push commands, it'll actually help walk you through whether you're on Mac or Linux or Windows, the specific commands you will enter into your terminal in order to properly get logged in and probably push it. But I'm gonna walk you through how to do all of these anyway. So of this list here, what I'm gonna copy actually is just the URL, the, the main URL for our specific account. And I'm going to just save that off to the side because it's a little bit easier having to being able to paste that as opposed to uh, having to type this this long account number name with the URL every single time. OK, so let's go ahead and close this. And now that we have our container uh, repository or image repository set up, let's head over to VS Code where we're going to build a container image and publish it up into ECR. All right, inside of VS Code, I have what is essentially just a script that echoes out hello world to the terminal and a Docker file that will wrap that script inside of a container image. So nothing extremely complex going on here. It's fairly straightforward. Let's go ahead and just change uh, this entry point echo command to hello ECR because we're going to be pushing this up to ECR. So why not show something specifically dedicated to that? OK, so next I'm going to open up a terminal. And I'm going to get some extra space here. And what we're going to do to log in is we're going to type in AWS ECR get login password and pass in our region, which in my case is US West one. This is part of that command that we saw inside of the modal that appeared inside of ECR. And we're going to pipe that in. What this is going to do is it's going to generate a login password for um, the actual Docker desktop client in order to connect to ECR. And it's going to pipe that into the Docker login command. So let's go ahead and add a pipe here. And then we're going to say Docker login. And then our username is going to be username It's going to be AWS and then password. You're going to do password forward slash or password hyphen STDIN for our standard output from the, the previous command. We're going to pipe that in here. Um, so it's going to take the password that was created from this command, this AWS ECR get whoops this AWS ECR get login password, and it's going to pipe that into the Docker login. And then finally, we need to enter in our URL. And again, since I don't want to type that out every single time, since we're going to be doing it a couple times, I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there and hit enter. OK, provided everything works successfully, we have a login succeeded message. So this means we are logged in. Now, one thing to note is this login success message actually has nothing to do with your IAM permissions yet. So there is a chance that your permissions are still not configured properly, even if you get this message. But I will tell you, once we try to push the image up, you might get if you get an error there, it's likely that your IAM credentials aren't uh, configured properly as far as the permissions go. OK, so now that we're logged in, let's go ahead and build this image. So I'm going to say Docker build period for the, the current working directory. And then we're going to tag this with that long URL, which contains our account name, along with some extra information about where the ECR instance is. And we're going to type in hello world ECR latest, which is going to be the name of the container followed by the tag or followed by the version rather. So I'll hit enter. It's going to build our container. And since it's basically just a bash script, it should follow through pretty quickly here. Okay. And it's all done. Now I'm going to Docker push. And then we're going to push up the container name that we just dedicated. So that URL followed by hello world ECR latest. 
and hit enter. This process may take a few minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the video. Okay, now that our container image is built, let's go ahead and remove the image locally on our computer so we can pull it down from AWS to run it. So I'll do Docker image RM, and then let's grep uh, hello world ECR and hit enter. Docker image, Docker image LS. We don't want to remove yet. We have to list them out. Okay, so there is our one image. So now I will do Docker image RM, and F7A is the first three uh, characters in that hash mark and hit enter. So it went ahead and removed that. So now if I run the same LS command and grep hello world ECR, we could see we have that image is completely removed from our computer. But if I type in Docker run, and then we'll paste in the name of the image, and hit enter, it's, it's unable to find it locally. So now it's gonna reach out into AWS and pull that down from our private repository. Okay, and we get our output on the terminal that says hello ECR, which means it definitely downloaded the image from Amazon and is running it locally on our computer. And now just to show you what this looks like up in AWS, I'm back up in ECR. I'm going to click on Hello World ECR, which is the name of our repository. And we can see we have a single image here that has the tag of latest. Here's the digest. Here's the URI that you can use to copy it. If you copy that, if you click that button, it's going to copy the URI. And that is essentially how you would publish Docker images up into a private ECR repository. After watching this video, hopefully you have a good understanding in how you can work with AWS ECR to publish your Docker images to it. If you've ever worked with any other kind of container registry, even if that's AWS or otherwise, do me a favor, let me know in the comments below and let me know what you thought of that experience. And if you enjoyed this video, you might also like my video on how to do exactly the same process, but with Docker Hub instead of ECR. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.